Welcome back to Let's Play Friends to the End, the DLC chapter for Shantae, Half-Genie Hero. Last time... Well, I don't know what last time, but, uh... Bolo and Roddy Tops have completed their challenge rooms. Now it's Sky's turn. I can do this. I know I can. The things I have overcome in this uh, you know, Let's Play channel, sweet Jesus. Barely. Fuck, I should have healed. That was exactly where I wanted to put it. Very good, me. Well, that's the end anyway, so this way I can grab the thing. You know, it actually occurred to me, in between sessions, I thought I had dodged that particular bullet when I reached the credits for Half Genie Hero. <laughs> and yet here we are, approaching the very end of our time with this game. Maybe. I might come back for Jammies mode, or even the other paid DLCs, if you guys are really interested. But, um, here we are approaching the end of the story, and we've reached a really hard challenge level, like the Dark Palace in, uh, Pirate's Curse. Ooh. Like, that's one of the things that stood out to me about that game, that the challenge goes WAY through the ceiling at the last second. Checkpoint! Oh god. No! Trying to be too fancy there. No. If I remember correctly, you can't actually make that jump. It's very, very close. I don't know that you can do it. Or is that the other one I'm thinking of? God, it could be the other one I'm thinking of. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's do this anyway. No, I'm on a bird. Oh, right. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I get something. Okay. So I don't know why I dropped off the platform there, because I was actually needing to be up here. No. Oh. Is that the one I can't actually make? That might be the one I can't actually make. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't think I was gonna make that one. Oh, this is really hard, and the background is constantly moving, and there's nothing to, you know, focus my eyes on and say, that's where the thing stops, you know? 
like in another level, I might line it up with, oh, it's at the top of the round bits on that pine tree over, pine tree, palm tree over there. It's, um, lining up with that cracked brick in the background, you know, that sort of thing. Just visual shorthand. Here, the background is an evil magic eye picture. Actually, it just kind of looks like evil smoke. That one I'm pretty sure I can make. Oh, this one I had trouble with, I remember that. Yeah, the trick is to throw it before you stop moving. Oh boy. That's pretty high. I don't know... Oh, right. This is going to suck. Oh! Oh, fuck. I made it. Oh, no! Mm. No, no. I can do this. I can do this. And if I can't, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this again. Oh, Christ. By the way, real shout-out to the hover birds. I don't understand them at all, but, you know, couldn't have done any of this without them. Oh. Oh, fuck! Really thought that one was going to disappear before I got down here. Alright, that's more like it. Ah! Uh! Jeez. No. No, it's not going to help anybody. No! Hey, it fixed it this time. Oh man. Oh, I really can't fuck this one up, can I? Nice. Oh, oh, I did it. Okay, cruel. Checkpoint. Made it to screen three before. What fuckery is this? Oh, I hate this. Oh, what am I meant to do there? Ready. No, genuinely, I don't actually know what I what they're asking me to do. just sunk in that Sky doesn't have a nose. I guess it's the same is true of everybody, but you know. I don't know, something about the bird's face being right over hers and then disappearing, they kind of emphasize the fact that she doesn't have a nose. I mean, there's like this tiny dot in the art over next to the chubby chicken. Okay. I can't throw eggs from this position, I don't think. And I'm kind of afraid to test that, because I might just let go. It might be one of those things, any button, let's go. Although jump does jump, so, um... Can I crouch under that? Well, not that side, obviously, but... That's gotta be it. I have to be able to crouch under those. Because if I can't, I don't know how any of this can work. Yeah, there's no time in there for, uh... Oh, 
Okay, there's no time for uh, platform throwing. So I think what I need to do is drop down while the platform beneath me is moving to the right, continue crouching, go under those spikes, you know, fingers crossed, stand up immediately, and jump onto the other platform before either of them move out of position. Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought I had to hold down down and A or down and B to do that. It's just down. It's just down. Give these guys a wide berth, I don't need to be losing any more fucking health. All right. No! Wow, the timing on that is shit. All right, I got this. I beat the fucking forgotten one, my dude. I can do anything. I remember they did this, uh... series on GameSpot years ago. Was it GameSpot or Giant Bomb? It doesn't matter. The theme of the series was, uh, load our last save. So it would be like... Well, you load a game you used... You get out your console, you load a game you used to love, and you load the last time you saved the game. So... Boy, I wish I hadn't sneezed in the middle of that sentence. I think one of the examples was, uh, like that Freedom Fighters game, the third-person shooter, and they loaded uh, somebody's save on an original Xbox from, like, 2005. Mother of God, this is going to be tricky. Oh man, I have to do redo parts one and two in order to get here. No, it doesn't matter. It took me like 50 tries to beat the uh, the final boss of uh, Tesla Grad. I can do this. That nigga Shante bitch doesn't know who she's dealing with. Alright, that was just confusing. I admit... I admit that one was not amazing. No. No. Oh, that's weird. When I had the thing, uh, like, right over her face, you could see part, part of the sprite for Sky's head clipping through it. The very tip of her, uh, you know, hood. Can I do that again? Yeah, yeah! On the left. No. No. Alright, let's get on with this. Oh! Oh! Mwah. I was about to say, what in the fuck do you want me to do here, but... Oh, look at that! The last, uh, Dream Squid is perfectly... Okay, not perfectly, but it's right in the right place! Can we just leave it there, guys? No? Okay. 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 I... I'm sorry, how do you want me to get that squid? The one that's currently behind Sky's head up in the corner? Oh, well, I gotta get onto the, one of those platforms and throw an egg, but... Oh shit. Really? You're still pulling that. The slide under the spikes bullshit.
I really don't have time for an egg, do I? I'm gonna have to throw a fucking egg to the left, step onto the ring, jump, activate the egg, and jump from the ring to the egg. Oh my Christ. I don't know that I can do this one. No! <sighs> what a disaster. And now I'm dying. You've heard her falconing arm. I hope you're impressed. Freaking evil Ashante. Why is it that heroes gone evil are always way more dangerous than villains? Maybe I'll just reach the end and see what happens. Shit! Oh god. <sighs> Shout out to Roshan, who reached uh, 341 days of uh, commenting to engage with the YouTube algorithms. And who uh, also had an interesting comment about uh, the way this place works. But I will get to that uh, afterwards. I'm... Whew, I'm lucky to still be in one piece. <sighs> Speak for yourself, I nearly lost my head. Huh? Roddy Tops? Bolo? Huh? Sky, is that you? Yes, Roddy, are you... Oh, they're in the dark, okay. Roddy, are you there too? Yeah. Oh, this is a... Oh, no. Uh, pardon me a moment. Okay, here it is. Since I have a feeling we're about to find out about this, I'm gonna read this now. Uh, Roshan said, Curious, this evil Shantae made an area just for each of the trio, but made it so all three have a chance to get out. Would that indicate the Shantae they know has had some level of influence over the creation of these areas in order to get help? And I do really like that. Because that's an interesting observation. Alright, I don't get it. How did we manage to find each other? You simpering fools! I really like that it doesn't just sound like Risky's voice. It actually sounds like an angry Shante. Range! You want to see your friend? Here, take a good look! Oh, fuck. She, she's still alive! Of course she is! I only told you she was gone to eliminate your hope! You had no hope! Why didn't it work? I can't speak for these two, but deep down I knew that even if I failed, Roddy Tops would find a way to reach you. She's a loyal friend who would never quit. Same, I was pretty sure that Sky would outsmart you even if I couldn't find my way out. And I knew Bolo's determination would see him through any obstacles. So there's your answer. We placed our hope in each other, like any good team would. Oh hell yeah, I like that. Now it's time for you to listen to us! We're your friends. It's time to come with us and leave this place behind. Sky. Poor, weak, half-genie runt. She tried, I'll give her that much, but in the end she was no match for me. That's it. She's gone. I'm all that's left of your friend. Well, that sounded, like, genuinely distressed. Shantae. Now then, how about I put an end to the three of you once and for all? I think the timer is about to go. Okay, yeah. In that case... I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Friends to the End, the DLC chapter for Shantae Half-Genie Hero, when we confront this... abomination... and show it the real power of friendship. An outnumbered ass-kicking! 
<laughs> oh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. Later!